What's up guys, Grim here. Recently, Rift on Twitter actually posted this graph showing what classes everybody is playing. And this is no surprise to me. A lot of people have kind of refuted what I've been saying in videos and stuff like that. But this kind of shows the light. As in, I've always believed that the mage and rogue have been the most powerful things ever since Nightmare Tide came out. And I've been voicing that quite a bit. Even though uh, people are always saying that warriors are really good and uh, clerics are really good and primalists and all this stuff. No, the majority of the population tends to think that rogue and mage is the way to go um, just by the sheer power of them whenever you go to a rogue class you will see almost every single uh, aspect of gameplay is excelled with rogue I mean if uh, I can only speak for PvP in general because I can't really say what exactly is the strongest in PvE but I will say that if a rogue goes into a warfront, it can go into a stealth uh, role and actually win Carthen Ridge matches. You got it to where uh, the melee uh, just in general is really, really good as in assassin builds, uh, night blade builds, all that. Uh, the ranged marksman, how can you go wrong with that? That's one of uh, possibly the second most powerful thing in warfronts in my mind. Uh, then you got, you know, even Physician is amazing in uh, healing. So it basically has all these tools that is really, really good in gameplay. And the Mage has been buffed up so much lately that, yes, it is tied with Rogue as the most played class right now. Uh, Harbinger is extremely strong in PvP and stuff like that because it has all the, the uh, escape methods. It's very... Very, very uh, strong in its DPS and stuff like that. So it's it's definitely a way to go. And of course, I've always spoke that uh, Pyromancer is the most powerful thing in PvP because it can do it at range and has extreme burst, so much utility, so many CCs, uh, methods to get away. Just everything is going right for Pyromancer. And this was not the case right before Nightmare Tide. Uh, Mage, like for the longest time, was the weakest so uh class out so for it to get so many buffs and now it's pretty much the most powerful thing out uh like i said at least in pvp i'm not too sure if it's uh the same situation in pve because i don't do too much pve I, i'm a pvp -er. but as you can see uh warrior is always like something that people uh generally like to play as a starter role in games whenever you're starting a new game usually it's a melee class that uh, they're going to encourage you to play and take for instance in like a trove or something like that you start off with knight and you have to unlock the other stuff in order to play any of the other roles because uh, usually melee and uh, tankiness and all that kind of go hand in hand with uh, being easy for newer players to play. So whenever uh, you look at the warrior stats here and how it's a percentage point over cleric, uh, that sounds about right because uh, newer players to the game, even uh, those leveling up and stuff like that, are going to generally think that the warrior is the way to go and... Uh, you know to make it easy on them on themselves have the tankiness and all that uh, but that's not necessarily the case in rift but I don't know if that's what's driving the number to be a percentage point over cleric uh, in any other game like a cleric is generally not the type of class that you would want to play uh, in Rift, of course, it's a completely different story because you have all the different souls and you can go into uh, a ranged DPS, you can go into melee DPS and everything else in a cleric class. So uh, it kind of defies the, the, I guess, uh, the uh, general theory about a lot of these classes that is put forth in other games. So... I don't know. I, I think that uh, Cleric would be played more if it wasn't something that a lot of newer players would not want to play generally because uh, while they're learning the game. Whereas Warrior is probably a percentage point higher because of uh, the general idea that it's easier to play and uh, a good starter role. But 
I mean, uh, it's pretty much agreed upon by uh, pretty much everybody that Warrior is the weakest thing in the game right now. I mean, it's really sad that that is the situation. But, uh, yeah, I mean, not to say that you can't do well as a warrior with gameplay and stuff like that, but whenever you compare the roles of a warrior to that of a rogue or a mage, uh, it's just going to be outshined completely. And even cleric has uh, quite a bit of an advantage over warriors with uh, ranged DPS and all that other stuff. Of course, clerics are amazing healers. Uh, uh, Inquisitor is uh, just outstanding whenever it comes to ranged DPS. Uh, shamans are blowing everybody up. I mean, just so many good things going on for a cleric. Uh, I was a little bit surprised that it was under warrior, but I, I, in my mind, I think it's because of the new player. Uh, the thought process behind warrior is a good starter class. Now, of course, the prime list is going to be extremely low on this uh, this list because it's a uh, a paid uh, calling. You have to buy it in order to play it. So that's going to be extremely low. No matter if it was the most powerful thing in all the game, uh, it would still be under 10% probably because a lot of people just do not want to pay for things. And uh, it was said on the forums not too long ago, I think it was Brass uh, said it, that... Uh, you know, of all the people that play the game, I think they were saying something like only 5% or less actually spend money on it. So uh, whenever it comes to giving benefits and all that, of course, they're going to try to reward people that uh, spend money on the game. But it seems like that, you know, the Primalist isn't at a spot where it feels like it is, uh, you know, something that you really need to pay money for because it's not that powerful it has a lot of downsides and uh people are making judgment calls on whether to take it or not and that's not a very good thing whenever you're trying to get people to buy this particular calling um uh, so yeah uh, that's kind of my thoughts on it i wonder what you guys are thinking about this graph uh do you uh, did you know beforehand that rogue and uh, mage would be at the top uh, by, you know, five percentage points over the number three roll or anything like that. Uh, did you think the warrior would be that high? Uh, I'm really surprised it's actually a percentage point over cleric because cleric is so good and warrior is so bad right now. Uh, I'm sure everybody will agree on Primalist though. So leave in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this particular graph. Uh, do you think it's going to change coming up? Do you, what do you think it was in Storm Legion? I'm kind of curious what you guys thought about that. I imagine Warrior was, uh, probably the number one calling in Storm Legion. Uh, especially since a lot of the media side, such as myself and Noobzilla and Space Boots and all of the. Uh, other media types were kind of always playing warrior uh, you had Seton playing uh, cleric and then you had Intim playing mage but you know those were one-offs and everybody else was playing warrior so all the attention was being brought to warrior almost like on a world of warcraft where you have swifty and bajira and uh kungan and all these other players are all playing warrior and nobody's really uh you know glamorizing rogue or anything else so it, the few people that are playing rogues and stuff like that in uh world of warcraft aren't really at the level of a swifty or a bajira or something like that so the uh general population is not going to be uh kind of coaxed into playing those roles whenever they normally wouldn't play it so yeah i'd like to know you guys thoughts leave in the comment section below what you guys think about this graph and all that good stuff and of course my phone goes off while i'm recording i apologize but as usual guys my name is grim make sure to punch that like button if you like the video and i'll see you next time